Well, welcome to this lesson. This tutorial tip is going to give you some ideas about the importance of public order. If we have a look at our public order at the moment, we can see that we're doing, uh, if we scroll up to the very top of our castle view, we can see that we've got protection of 221, population minus 120, unrest is zero, and the production gears show 120%. That's our public order. Well, 120%, hmm, what does it really mean? Well, we're looking at the production gears and we're saying that we're able to produce 120% of what we would normally do. So if we then click on, say, one of our level 10 farmhouses, we scroll down to the stats about the farmhouse, we see that by default it should produce 88 units of food per hour at 100%. We've got production bonuses that have come from public order that have increased that to 156%. So instead of producing 88 units of food, it is now producing 137. Well that's pretty good, but what if we could improve our public order? And as we said, at the moment we've got 1,461 units of food production, or 149 per hour. Sorry, 194 per hour. Let's see if we can change that or improve it. What we're going to do now is add in some parks. Now I already had the parks pre-built, so instead we're going to add these into the system and see what kind of improvements the parks will make. And even if it's just a few parks, I'm thinking we will start to see a dramatic improvement. And so we've just added one, two, three, four, five parks. We go back up to our public order, instead of the previous 129%, uh, we're now up to 150% for our production gears. Our public order has improved. We go back to our level 10 farmhouse and at 195% now, that is producing 171 units of food per hour. So by adding these one, two, three, four, five parks, we've managed to increase our production output quite considerably. 1,822. Now, the importance of parks or other uh, ornaments is that by improving public order, it improves across the board. So not only does it improve the production of this single farmhouse, but of all these farmhouses of the woodcutters. And if you had stonemasons, it would improve the stonemasons and revenue, etc. And if we were to have a look at our uh, production times in the barracks, Productivity is running at 188%. So that is saying we can improve that productivity as well. Okay, so now what we've done is we've added all of the parks back into the system and we're going to have a look at how much more improvement has come by adding those ornaments to our castle. 
our food output is now 2,804. So there is a dramatic improvement, not by upgrading my farms or my woodcutters, but by merely adding items that will improve public order. If we have a look at our public order rating now, it's up to 231% because of all those decorative items. Remembering that each park is 103 uh, points of public order. So it's a big dramatic improvement. But what is the improvement per individual item? Well, the farmhouse we now see, which was 88 normally, is now producing 263 0.8 per hour because it's looking at a 300% bonus through that increased public order. What that means is if we go down to a farmhouse that's only say for example 17% and we click on that, even that 17% because of our public order it is running 300% that is still producing 44 units of food per hour. And 44 units of food, well, that's enough for another 20 troops. So you can see uh, the benefits of having high public order. That also applies to woodcutters, to your stonemasons, tax collection. All of that is improved just by having high public order. So we can increase the output of productivity. What brings down public order? Well, dwellings. It's fine to have a few at the very start when you're desperate for coin, but as you get an opportunity to improve your troop strengths, you can actually do away with your dwellings because if you hit your robber barons or baron towers, that's where you can get your coin from and the rewards and returns are quite considerable. But our defensive capabilities are also improved with public order as well. So, where possible, try and add as many items that will improve public order to your castle. And remember that it's not just by adding one of them that you get the improvement, but by adding several, that improvement goes right across the board for your castle. It's going to really improve your output and productivity. So, hope that tip was helpful for you. Look forward to the next one.